guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you guys. And today's video is going to be more of an editing type of video. And it got requested, so I was like, okay, I might as well show you guys. So today's video is going to be how to keyframe. This is what keyframing is. It's pretty much just like a little animation that floats around the screen. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So if you guys want to know how to do it, just keep watching. And you guys should know after this video. So let's go ahead and go into it. Okay guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to keyframe. So for this video, I'm going to be using this little background right here. And of course, you can put a video in the background or whatever you want. So this is just my example. Oh. Alright, so this is my background and this is what I'm going to be animating. Now, of course, again, you can use whatever you want. This is just what I chose. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do is, as you can tell, it's just like zooming up, which is kind of automatically what iMovie does to it. So you're going to go ahead and double click on it and you're going to click this little crop little feature looking thing and you're going to put fit this way if it's PNG or transparent it will keep it that way so then you're going to go ahead and click these two boxes that you can see right here and you're going to put picture in picture and for here dissolve I'm going to put zero because I personally just don't like when it dissolves in and out so then the next thing you're going to want to do is just adjust it to whatever size and spot you want it to start in so I want mine to start right in the middle and I want it to be this size. And then you're going to go ahead and click at the beginning of the video. And this is the most complicated part, but it's not that hard once you get the hang of it. So pretty much you're going to go ahead and click it. And remember, you're going to want to be at the beginning of the video. You're going to click the lips and press this little button right here. You're only going to need to press it once, so don't worry about pressing it again. Press it once, and you're going to start keyframing. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to let it the video play for as long as you want it to take to get to the next spot in the animation. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like to do it fast first. So I'm going to let it play for very little time and move it to the next spot I want it in. So I want mine to go up here. So now I'm going to let it play for longer, not super long, but a little bit longer. And I'm going to put it in this spot right over here. And then I'm going to let it play it for a long time and put it down here. And then I'm just going to like move it out of the frame. So after you move it, it automatically keyframes and you can let it play again. So I'm going to let it play again and move it off. All right, so let's take a look at what the animation looks like. So it starts in the middle, fast, medium, slow. So as you can tell, the time that you play it really depends on how long you want to take to, the, to get to the next spot. So this is pretty much how it looks, fast, medium, slow. And that's pretty much how you keyframe. You can do whatever you want. You can move back and forth. You can move it up and down. And if you guys want, you can actually make it like zoom up if that's what you want to do. So I'm going to have mine small at first. Small at first and then get bigger. So I'm going to let it play for a long time and let it get bigger. And we'll just move it. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like. So, remember, let it play for as long as you want it to take long, and then move it to the next spot. Okay guys, that was how to keyframe. Hopefully it made sense to you guys and you guys now know how to keyframe. You can only make keyframing on your computer or MacBook, not on your iPhone. Just a disclaimer. So that's all I have for you guys today. Do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next Saturday.